Hey, hey, what do you say? Tommy Paradise here, back. Another unboxing. I'm an unboxing maniac lately, and today I'm going to unbox a whole stack of stuff that I've gotten recently. Barbarian. Uh, I'm sorry, Warlord. I wish it was Barbarian. Trish Shadows, Colonel Mustafa, Sergeant Slaughter, all coming unboxed to you next. All right, guys, we are going to start out with the Warlord. This is uh, four things that I've, um, I've gotten recently um, and just haven't had a chance to unbox yet. So I figured why not make a video for the YouTube channel, right? Start throwing stuff together and uh, unboxing all this stuff. So we're going to start with the Warlord uh, just from the outside looking great. Um, it's funny when people point stuff out to you online, then you can't get it out of your head. So like I've seen a few comments on this that his neck is super short on it. And now I can't get it out of my head. That's all I see, that his neck is, sh that he has no neck. So let's open this up. This is from Elite Series. Doesn't say what series it's part of, uh, which is weird. I know it's a collector's edition, uh, Walmart exclusive. Uh, got this from a gentleman on Twitter. Uh, and I cannot think of his name at the moment. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll put it in, a, in the little thing down here. Uh, I'll go back when I, while I'm editing this and uh, and add them. So not a ton of, uh, you just get two extra hands. C hands, nothing special. C grips, nothing special. Because they put so much into the, ooh, he's chained in and I did not realize that. Uh, into this figure. Holy smokes. Maybe. Now, I know not everybody collects, you know, the uh, the flashbacks and these collector series and stuff. A lot of you guys are into the new stuff. This might be figure of the year, though. Look at that deco. Look at the, the chain mail that he's wearing. Uh, power of pain on the side. Now, a lot of people have said, how come it says we're of pain? Back in the day, Warlord actually used to wear tights over the pants and cover it up so that is why you cannot see it, the p um or the o warlord on the back on the the chain mail this is a great figure i'm so happy to have this uh i know you know we probably aren't gonna get a barbarian anytime soon but nice to have this maybe down the road who knows we will get a barbarian this is like very quietly i think if you look at the detail and stuff very quietly Maybe figure of the year. Maybe figure of the year. This is fantastic. Can't wait to put that in the collection. Put him off to the side. For right now, who we got next? We got... Cue the Giggle. Trish Stratus. Now, this is from Elite Series 88. Uh, this come, the, the other people in this set are Kushida, Riddle, MVP, Rey Mysterio, and Roman Reigns. Now, a lot of people shitting on this figure when they first saw the scans... I don't think that scan, I don't know how good you guys can see it, looks that bad for Trish Stratus. Um, a lot of people did not like it, but this is like, uh, in my mind, this is TNA, not total nonstop action, like Trish and Albert, or Test and Albert, I'm sorry, Trish Stratus. So it was a necessity uh, for me to add to my Attitude Era. Uh, again, she just comes with C-Grip hands for the extras. Uh, she's got the cowboy hat. Whoop! Lost the cowboy hat there. She is not chained in, so that's good. Where did her cowboy hat go? I need to find it before the dog does. I got it. I got it. We got it. All right. So yeah, this scan on this figure is not terrible. I don't know what. I mean, maybe people got bad ones. Maybe I got a good one. But if you look at that, that is not a terrible scan. Not by any means. Um, love the pink and black, like the jacket, like the macho man style cowboy hat that I'm going to put back on her right now. So you guys can see, I don't know which way cowboy hats are supposed to go. There we go. So I'll give that, I, I, this figure is acceptable. It's not the worst figure ever, but, um, I should have grabbed one of my other Trish figures and compared it. Um, I, I know I, what do I have for Trish figures actually? I don't even know. I'd have to go back and look. I think I have her old elite, uh, her first one with the women's title. Next up, we are going to do Colonel Mustafa, a.k.a. Steve Harvey. Iron Sheik, baby. Let's open him up. This is another collector's edition 
figure. Uh, this was such a surprise. I never expected to see this in figure form. But hey, they got Iron Sheik under contract, right? Why not make it happen, right? Uh, he is not chained in. This is a great figure. Great figure. Great looking figure. He's got different hands. He's got the open, uh, open hands there. Pop those open. There you go. There's one. There's two. And then, uh, oh, he is chained in. All right. Let's, uh, is it only the one? Yep. Only the one. So we'll cut him out. Save his life. As Kyle Peterson likes to say, free him from the plastic prison. Oh, lost his hat too. Not doing good with the hats here. All right, Je Colonel Mu. I keep wanting to say General Adnan, but this is not General Adnan. It is Colonel Mustafa. He's got a little blemish on his bald head. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right out of the box, but that's all right. I'm going to keep his hat on him anyway. So you undo the jacket. He's got the little singlet there. This is perfect. This looks so good. Uh, brings me right back to that SummerSlam of 1991. We're hit with uh, these him and Slaughter and Adnan taking on Hogan and Ultimate Warrior. Warrior, of course, held up Vince for money that night. So just trying to get him to stand up straight and then slap the hat on him. There we go. Colonel Mustafa, what is up? Ooh, lost the hat again. His hat's not staying on very well. There we go. All right, Steve Harvey. Stay over there. Go host some Family Feud. Last but not least, this one's going to be a little bit longer of an unboxing because I want to talk about the new box. Sergeant Slaughter goes right with the uh, Colonel Mustafa. Fits right in. This is Elite Series 89. You got a picture of Sarge on the back there. This... Uh, Certified authentic. I like that. This is just kind of on the side now in this new packaging. My one complaint about the package. I'm not a MOC guy, but I, I didn't mean to flip you guys off there. I would have switched this either to the other side or down to the bottom because I feel like this takes away a lot of the light that you would see. If you look at it, he kind of looks like the, the figure, the top of the box inside the box looks dark, right? So um, other than that, though, I love the new packaging. Um, that's like splitting hairs here. Update was needed. This packaging is great. Let's see. Uh, this is the first package I've gotten or first figure I've gotten from this packaging. So let's see how uh, easy it is to open. So far, so good. There's tape in uh, a couple different spots here. And then uh, in this series, it is Drew McIntyre, Dominic Mysterio, first time in the line, uh, Bobby Lashley, Damian Priest, and Nia Jax. So yeah, that wasn't too bad to open. All right, so he comes with his little, I don't know what this thing is called, but his little stick here comes with a pointer finger. Now I'm gonna take a look at the pointer finger here in just a second because uh, again, as I talked about, somebody pointed out online that there may be, they may have reused uh, the pointer finger from another figure and there is a way to tell. Just cut these uh, these out. So some, some fun facts here that you're learning on the Running Podcast YouTube channel about uh, what <laughs> what you find on the figures online. Whoa. All right, so his glasses are strapped on there. I like that. I might actually keep those on there. I did that with uh, the Million Dollar Man Legends belt. It was like strapped on. I just kept it on the strap on <laughs> because it was easier. It was. Uh, it just kept them in place where they needed to be, uh, the it, the belt for uh, Million Dollar Man. So I think I'm going to do it with, uh, with Slaughter. Now, this is the Slaughter I remember. Uh, there's a lot of Slaughter figures out there, obviously, but like I'm 39. I missed his heyday of, of wrestling. So I do like the little blotch of hair they gave him there. Uh, this looks like you he was going to call me a puke. Um, I love that it came with the red elbow pads. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the jacket on him because the elbow pads won't fit on the jacket or take the jacket off and throw the elbow pads on. Um, and then what I was talking about with, uh, to see if they reuse the parts. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but they definitely did. There's a classy Freddie Blassie finger point. You can see right in here, there is a ring on the finger, but it's not painted. I don't know how well you got it. There it is. Look at that. Turn it sideways. You guys can see that perfectly. 
Um, I don't know if it's on the other pointer finger as well. It is not on the other pointer finger. So maybe we switch them. My, honestly, my thought was take them out of the jacket, put the elbow pads on them and have him holding this thing bent like he did back in the day. So uh, let's make that happen. Let's do that. Take the pointer finger off, take his jacket off, stay a while. And then we'll put those red elbow pads on him. A lot of dressing and undressing going on uh, on this channel today. Although, yeah, if you go back and watch my other videos of me dressing and undressing Kane and uh, Undertaker Ultimate Editions, those are available on your feed now. But uh, that was a lot more undressing. All right, so we'll slap these elbow pads on them. Yeah, these big red elbow pads are so 1990s Sergeant Slaughter. I'll give him his hand back. Here, don't worry guys, I'm gonna show you the finished product here in just a minute. And then I have a blue WWE title that I'm gonna have to give him. Take it off the Warrior. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah. Turn, oh. All right, let's try this again. It fell out of his hand when we just did it there. Here we go. This is gonna work. Look at this. Tell me this is not Sergeant Slaughter from the 90s when he was turned his back. Jeez, this hat is too big for him. It keeps falling off. There we go. Oh, keep, damn hat keeps falling off. There we go. Look at that. A 10 hook, at ease, maggot, anything else you want to throw in. And then we put these two guys side by side. We got the ultimate warrior from that match. We got the Hulk Hogan or a Hulk Hogan that we can use from that match. We got the Sid recently from that SummerSlam, who was the ref. Uh, just great figures. Four great figures here that I unboxed. Sergeant Slaughter, he just fell over, lost his hat, lost his whip. What a mess. Uh, <laughs> Trish Stratus. Way better than I anticipated, and probably the highlight of the four I just opened, The Warlord. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to listen to the uh, Running Podcast every single Friday. Subscribe on iTunes. Subscribe on YouTube. Check out our website, runinpod.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button on this YouTube channel as well, and we will do another unboxing soon. See ya.